We talk about the, this, you know, the CFO, how they need to account for costs, calculate ROI, and make sure that there are no significant cost overruns. Certainly, we've seen examples and we have um, some documented instances in the book that talk about how cloud costs have significantly spiraled out of control. The, you know, the CIO leads the, de the de development of cloud, you know, the strategy, the security posture, and monitors any CSP performance, but the, the CEO also talks about how then things sh should be thinking about the company's risk appetite and outsourcing functions to a cloud service provider. You also have the, the GRC functions, the governance, risk, and compliance functions, the chief risk officer, the internal audit, the external audit. So another thing that we're seeing relates to the complexities of, of AI and the risks that traditional audits might not be enough. And one of the exciting things that we discovered in researching for our book is that we're seeing a rise of more specialized tools. And one to watch for is called the SOC 2 Plus Assessment. It builds on the, the standard SOC 2 Security Control Report, but it adds, it adds specific testing for controls based on the AI Global Management Standard ISO 42001. And it digs into like 40, focused areas on AI risks, like bias mitigation, ethical considerations, and transparency. So if, listener, if you're deploying AI in critical rate ways, which you should be, consider a SOC 2 Plus report. It certainly can be a really great step in proving to your customer customers and regulators that AI is functional and that your organization's governing in a responsible way.